Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. People of God. People of God. Let everything that have life say amen. Ha, hallelujah, guys. It's now 7.15. And as I tell people, I don't, I don't do things of my own. If I get up and I just randomly want to preach on my own, I cannot. It's when I led, when I feel the power of God come over me. Today I spend some time, you know, talking to God, praying, spending time with him. I was just in silence and I was just laying down on my sofa. As, um, I had just finished dropping my son to school. And I just lay there in silence, just waiting on the Lord. Hallelujah. Sometimes you just have to sit down. Whether you lay in your bed or you sit down on a chair and just be quiet. And just talk to God. Believe me, he'll answer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Let me tell you something as it comes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I have a, I have, there's a special friend of mine. A special friend of mine. She's dealing with a situation. <laughs> she's of a different faith, you know, where she's not, um, she's not a part of Christianity. Um, and she's of a different faith. So she's going through a lot. And I'm not going to tell you guys the detail, but I'm going to share something that, you know, she has a grandmother who is 95 years old. Hallelujah. And as she told me that grandmother, when, when she was younger, huh, she told me that the grandmother used to be very mean, very evil. <laughs> Hallelujah. She used to do a lot of bad stuff. And as the older she gets, you know, they are, you know, they are taking care of her now. And lately she hasn't been eating. Hallelujah. She hasn't been putting any food and it's just beard hell she giving them. Spitting on them, cursing them. And the lady is in torment. Hallelujah. <laughs> She, her soul is in torment. Uh, and as she reached out to me and we talk and stuff, and I said, listen, the, 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 the grandmother, she, she didn't practice Christianity. She don't believe. And I don't know. All, I, I could just pray for her. I could just pray for her. But ultimately, is God going to make the decision if he's going to release her? On top of it, my, my friend, which I call like a sister to me, she's not of this faith and stuff. She, don't, she believes in Jesus. But, you know, that's another story. Right, and as she began to tell me how stressed she was with this grandmother, I began to think about mankind. Hallelujah! I've been in the field so long, like I've been in the med you know, nursing field. Um, it's similar, you know, with working with people with disabilities, still nursing because you're giving, you know, you're taking care of somebody. But I remember when I did home health aid, when I just come to this country and I was doing home, and I've met a lot of old people, and I'm telling you, hallelujah, some of them is in torment. Oh my God, I remember one person I had, the lady was so miserable, I never forget her. She was about 90. She told me, me and her went out and I took her. She saw the hot dog stand and she said she gave me money to buy a hot dog for her and I bought the hot dog. She said, buy one for myself. I purchased one. Then the woman turned around, cursed me. Get, huh? Curse me out. <laughs> when I tell you, then when, you know, it was a living situation where I would stay there. Um, for a couple of days. And let me tell you, at night, the lady, I'm supposed to be sleeping because the company at the time was paying me to sleep. And imagine I was making $7 an hour with this job. And I'm telling you, that's why I have so many patients, you know, guys, because I've worked with people and I, I develop a lot of compassion. I've seen everything. And as I began to lay down, this woman, <laughs> she would get up and she would, she called me Paige. I still remember so many, this was about many years ago. More than 20 years. I don't remember when, but I just remember this lady. And I can't remember, I can't even remember other patients, but I remember this lady. Has this lady begun <coughs> to give me hell? I would sleep. The agency said they're not paying me to, for sleeping at night. So, I, you know, she don't need any care at night. My dear, she would get up and all I would feel is her little cane touching me. She called me Paige. <laughs> no matter how much I tell her, my name is Asia. Paige, get up. She would be like, Paige, get up. Get up. Get up. And she would curse me. The lady, this little white lady would curse me. And I would get up and I said, what do you need? You need some help? And she's like, get out of here. And she run me, running me out of the house. Now we know I can't leave because I'm there to take care of her. And I would get up and I would say, you want some water? And I would, you know. But one of the things, I would smile with her. I say, you're so beautiful. And then she's like, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I'm telling you. But as I 
Develop, began to develop relationship with this lady. And it wasn't my case. I was doing it temporary because our regular aide was on vacation. And I'm telling you, this lady gave me hell. But as before the week ended, she and her and I, you know, developed. I brought cards. I picked up some cards and we played card game. I developed, I began to develop a relationship with this, with this patient. You know what I'm saying? Love. I showed her love. No matter how mean she was, I still was there showing her love till it was kind of sad to leave. Because as I look at this lady, I said, I don't know what her life was when she's, she was younger. But I could tell she, was, she did some stuff. Hallelujah. Because when you live your life in peaceful, when you live your life when you was young, to have love. When you live your life for God. When you get older, you live to see older, you will be in peace. Hallelujah. You won't be so tormented. So people, they're worrying about, oh, they're so young now. They're on TikTok. They're shaking this shaking that hallelujah know that there's going to be a time when all that shaking can't shake anymore when how do you live your life today is what matter i tell young people i was young and i made mistakes but the time when i was young is different from now we're in the last days no it's not the time to have a party right now no it's not the time to go you know do all type of Things that's not of God right now. Because you could walk out. People committing suicide. Why is it so many killings? Killing if somebody don't kill them, somebody killing themselves. What's going on? Open your eyes. Oh God, hallelujah. People, open your eyes. I was listening to a song just now before I begin to take up the phone. I was talking to my son. I was thinking I'm going to watch a movie. And as I... Play the song popped up. Uh, it's the Jimmy Cliff, I think. I can see clearly now. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, the rain is gone. Hallelujah. You know, when you're in a car and you're driving and there's rain, and you know, your windshield, you know, on the windscreen, you, you know, it's foggy, and you just, you know, you just, you just, you just did it. You're still driving. You don't give up. Hallelujah. You know, your wipers come on. You turn on your wipers and you try to clear so you could see. Hallelujah. This is how the word of God is. You're going through. But each time the battle, each time the rain come down, you got to just use the word of God to see, make you see clearer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you people. <laughs> No, it's not the time. Hallelujah. Don't wait until you get old to be in torment. And as I told, back to my, the story with my friend, and as I tell her, I think she need a good prayer. Huh? I think she needs somebody to intercede because she need peace. Uh, for my belief, uh, I believe uh, that when you pick up all these demons inside of you, uh, hallelujah, when you get whole, the demons are trapped. The demon cannot use you to be wicked anymore. The demon cannot use you to go on Facebook anymore, to, to look at somebody and think and have jealousy. The demon cannot use you to talk bad about your children anymore. The demon cannot use Use you to be hateful towards your family member anymore. The demon cannot use you to go to witchcraft worker anymore. The demon cannot use you to kill anymore. The demon cannot use you to do all manner of evil anymore. So that demon is trapped in the body and it's stuck. So you, the, the flesh is in torment. The woman won't sleep. She said, I give her medication. I said, go take her to the doctor. They take her, they give her, the woman can't sleep. But she says, she said to me, sis, though she was so bad when she was young. She's spitting on us, she's doing so much. And I, my, my heart feel it for my friend. I end up advising her, say, listen, take turn. Maybe you guys could, you, you watch her from, from, from eight, eight hours. Your mom watch her for eight hours and will take turns. I don't know what became of the outcome of it because I haven't heard from her. But, uh, this is just an example that we are to serve God. Hallelujah. I've heard so many pe things of wicked people run out of them house. Uh, run out of them house. Gone crazy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord, as I lay down today, you know, you know, God give me a word today. As I lay down, he said to me, Asia, you know, make sure uh, you're make sure your word that you're saying, uh, whether it's on the internet, your last word should be uh, clean unto me. Hallelujah. I don't want to die. And when I go, 
And when I go, the last word I said, you ever go on the internet and you, and you go back on somebody's Facebook and you look, the last word they said, they're cussing somebody out. <laughs> but I don't want my last word to be something that's not of God. Hallelujah. I want my last word to be of God. Hallelujah. So right now I'm telling you people, no, it's not the time. I want my word to be of God. I want my word to be light. Hallelujah. Jesus, we don't know what tomorrow, today when I drop Psalm and I was on my way back when I went to pick him up from school and as I hit the Bell Parkway and I exit right by the Toys R Us those of you who live in New York, hallelujah as soon as I enter there's an accident right there in the middle, hallelujah and I missed it, hallelujah I missed it, guys I cannot predict what's gonna happen to my life, now I end up stopping at, 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 at to get food for some before I came, hallelujah. I end up stopping for food. I don't know how, you know, how many times I, as soon as I enter the, egg, the exit, there's an accident before I came there. Huh? I'm telling you, God will pr protect you, hallelujah. God, he will keep, put a shield around you. I'm telling you, people, when you serve and trust him, I'm telling you, don't want to dart the enemy try. You think when he take away, he make people come up against me sometime for no reason. Hallelujah. You know how much things happen to me, either on the job or in my regular life, but I still stand for God. Satan think the enemy think when he either, you can even turn your own child against you. I see on the news, children killing their parents. Hallelujah. There's a pastor lady who died right now. That our son kill her, hallelujah. But gave a shata kill him, baby, baby, shata. But no, in the name of Jesus, the pit did not kill me. In the name of Jesus, I serve a true and living God. Satan, you not pre prevail, hallelujah. I'm telling you, not before my time, hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. No, we serve a living God, hallelujah. And I said, listen, my house shall praise the Lord, hallelujah. This house was built on a fire a solid rock. Hallelujah. This house was built on a solid rock. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, when your parents out there, when you get a car, you, you work hard feet in the name of Jesus, parents. You work hard and you use your credit. You never go on a strip of pole and get that car. Hallelujah. When you get your apartment, you work hard. Hallelujah. Because Jesus gave you. Stand firm. Stand firm. Stand firm in what you believe leave in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. All my work that I do, <laughs> when I see that little book with my baby, sit down and come up with this concept of the letter A, hey, hallelujah. And I see... <laughs> Guys, that's another story, all oh, this story, even how oh, we even get to that story. But I'm going to tell you, this is not by, by man's will. <laughs> this is a girl. <laughs> this is a girl who write off, who Jamaica school system write off. Every single dance class from second grade, right back to ninth grade. Hallelujah. They said, I'm dance. But when Jesus said yes, go up on Amazon and type in Asia faster. When the people that people them don't know you the best review you can get is for people who don't know you because they'll give you an honest review i never have to pay for any review in the name of jesus i waited my time i'm just giving you guys an example that's when jesus is ready and i tell the people I don't need a man's favor. I need God's favor. When you go up on Amazon, when I hear they said, well written story, hallelujah. Well written. Me up on Amazon with people we have big degree, hallelujah. Me up on Amazon as author with people we went to school for, for, for much degree, hallelujah. But me stand up there because Jesus put me there in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. So me now, I'm not going to let the enemy, I'm not going to make sense. Satan tried to trick me to don't let me know what's inside I carry. I carry a true and living God. The light of God is inside of me. And light is stronger than the darkness. When the sun come up and everywhere bright. And anywhere I go, demon have to flee in the name of Jesus. So right now I'm praying right now as we, we enter 
into another season again hallelujah you know see february left january now in february right now yes it's a season i'm not worried about the calendar season because an enemy he come with different season one minute him him him, him start war over here so one minute he start war over this i see them hot them warring in jamaica the artist i see the craziness going on and i said they don't see that is the enemy <laughs> fighting and doing division but i don't take on that because that's not my my battle over there so i focus on what we're right here so we got half in store for me hallelujah <clears throat> In the name of Jesus, I'm telling you people, huh? tonight I didn't come to, to preach, God. But I'm telling you, the Lord just wake me up tonight, hallelujah. He just wake me up so tonight, right now I'm declaring, huh? Lord Jesus, as I come to you, God. Huh? Lord Jesus, you place me in my mother's womb, hallelujah. You place me in my mother's womb, hallelujah. So Lord Jesus, oh God, you kept me, you carry me through to reach this age, Jesus. Lord Jesus, you ordained my life, God. So in the name of Jesus right now, everything that's not, to, not of you, Lord, you remove itself in the name. I pull down the stronghold of the enemy. Anything that I touch, God, let it be, oh God, in the glory for you, God, hallelujah. Lord Jesus. Jesus, speak to the children, oh God. Let them know, bring them back, oh God, to where you want them to be, God. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Lord Jesus, I'm speaking to the youths out there, God. The youths, we are, these are the generation that's supposed to carry on. My baby is only four years old. By the time he reached to a certain age, this is his generation. So God, I gotta, God, you gotta have mercy upon us, God, to clean up this generation God so our children can have a better future so many contamination on the internet in the name of Jesus destroying our youth God they are so lost and there is no leader the leader they must fall they are falling one by one that's why God rise up people like me hallelujah people like me like the woman of Samaria to say come see a man who knows all things because I tell people, I said, I don't care about fame. Uh -huh. There's nothing to gain. Uh -huh. I want my name in the great book up in heaven. Uh -huh. That's what my goal is. So, so Satan, you don't, you know, he, he can't fool me with all these riches and all of this and thing. So I'm telling you, people of God tonight, take my message. Take this message and run with it like the woman of Samaria. Change your life. <laughs> Change your life, people. <laughs> please, please live good. Live good with others. I'm telling you, people. Love. Sometimes people don't understand why I do what I do. My kindness. Because, you know, when people hurt me, they can't, you know, it'll come back and hurt me. One thing. Because, you know, you say, Mommy, you're too kind. Or, you know, somebody will tell me that. But I said, listen to me. Jesus is a kind man and they do so much to him but he, he continue because once the, the fruit can't change when you use a good fruit there's nothing but kindness in my heart hallelujah and I have to put out good in the name of Jesus so good comes back to me always come back to me so as I close these people of God I'm telling you it is well with my soul it is well it is well hallelujah Praise God. Wow, blessed be the name of the Lord.